Hello everybody, MC Dalek here, and today I'm playing one of my favorite games, Uplink. It's made by Introversion Software. It's $10 on Steam. Introversion Software also made other games such as Defcon and Prison Architect, I believe is what they're working on now. You can also get that in Steam. It's in development. So I'm going to start a new user. Welcome to the Uplink Public Access Server. Uplink Corporation maintains the tar largest list of freelance agents in the world. We have operated for the last decades with a flawless record of satisfied customers and successful agents. Our company acts as an anonymous job center, bringing corporations together with agents who can work for them. Our company also provides rental of essential gateway computers to fill to all agents, which allow unparalleled security and high-risk environment. You are here because you wish to join the company. I'll read the about us. No, that's what we just read. <laughs> Alright, register as an agent. Your Uplink membership package includes a gateway computer at a secure location. You will connect to this machine from your home computer when you're working for Uplink. You can have it upgraded at a later stage if necessary. A low interest loan of 3,000 credits with Uplink International Bank to get you started. Access to our bulletin board system, the usual place for Uplink agents to find work. And you will be officially rated as an Uplink agent, and we will monitor your progress. As your waiting increases, you may find new avenues of work become available. <coughs> Continue. Right. So, enter a name. So I'll put in MC Dalek. Oops. Caps locks on. MC Dalek. Password. Uh, I'll just put Dalek because it doesn't really matter. The reason why I'm telling you the password is because it will show it later on. So, uh, Uplink Corporation will not ask for any more personal details. The event of you being changed with illegal operations. Our corporation will be forced to dis. So, um, however, you will be safe from arrest in the world. Okay, so. Now we gotta choose where our gateway will be. So I'm going to choose. Chicago. Registration is now taking place. As part of your membership, we will assign you a gateway computer system in your chosen server room. This will act as your jumping off point to the rest of the net. When you next log in, you will connect directly from your home computer to this gateway machine, and from there to the rest of the world. Should any of your actions be traced back to your gateway, Uplink Corporation will disavow any knowledge of your actions and will destroy your account. Then a gateway machine will also be destroyed. Rental of your gateway computer costs 300 credits a month. Done. Just wait for it to start up. Right, so this is the main page where you do most of the playing. You got your date, you got your IP, you got the time sliders, so you can fast forward and pause. CPU usage, you have your interface map, and you have software is hard gateway hardware, memory, so right now I have the tutorial and the file copy and file the leader. Uh status in the world. So I'm registered, I'm a grade sixteen uplink agent my bank account and if I want to send a message which I don't so I'll close that out. Um, your gateway computer has been successfully set up and will now and will or has been successfully set up and will accept only your username and password in the future. When you next start uplink on your home computer you'll be connected automatically to this gateway. In your email you'll find a message from Uplink Corporation with with some useful IP addresses. You also find the Uplink test mission which will allow you to practice hacking. Would you like to run the tutorial? I'm not going to run the tutorial. <coughs> so we've got two messages down here. Uh, welcome to Uplink. Your details have been entered into our account. Congratulations, you're now officially a rated Uplink agent. We recommend you complete the Uplink test mission before attempting any real work. Your first stopping off point should be the and uplink internal services system. Once they're logged, click help. Good luck. I'll delete that. What's this? 
Alright, so this is the test mission. You gain access to the uplink test machine by breaking the outer security layer. Access the file server and download the target file uplink test data. Remove any traces of your hack. So now, I can't re really remove any traces because I don't have a log deleter, I don't think. But, um, well, we shouldn't have to worry about that yet. So, um, should I? Yeah, I'll bounce, uh, to the test machine. So, I'll connect to the public server, bank, internal services machine, to the uplink test machine, just in case they try to trace me. And also save this. <coughs> this will be your first opportunity to hack into a real computer system with real defenses. There's no point in trying to hack a real computer system until you can do the uplink test in your sleep. You will be traced during your attempts, so remember to monitor the communication lines. However, no action will be taken against you if you should be traced. So you never connect directly to your target server, bounce it around the world. That's what I did, I bounced it through the other servers which we know. So start the test. So, I don't think I have the software I need to get through this, because it doesn't have the password on here. So I'm going to disconnect and connect to the internal services system. I'll use my login. Then I'm going to go to the software upgrades and hopefully I'll have enough money to buy what I need. So I'm going to need the password breaker, which is only one version. Uh, other uh, apps you see, or yeah, software, as different versions, and you always want to go for the highest one so you can get through everything. But I'm going to go for the, being that there's only one version, password breaker, I'm going to purchase this, and it's automatically being put inside my, inside the memory. Um... I think this is all I'm going to need for the first mission, so... Oop, nope, not do that. Well, I can disconnect from here, too. So, disconnect. Right, so... I'm going to load that bounce setup and reconnect. Start the test. Right, so uh, I did not purchase a tra tracer. Um... I'm going to go do that real quick. Should it... Nope, not the bank the internal services system. Software. And I need the tracer, which it doesn't look like I can afford because I don't see it on here, unless I have to scroll down. Trace tracker. Now, there's different versions. I'm going to go for version 1, because we'll save up money to get version 4, which is the best. I'll just get version 1 for now, so purchase, and that's been put in my memory. Right, now let's do this again. Load and connect. So, welcome to the FLink test machine. This will be your first opportunity to hack into a Yeah, I already read this. Right. So now, uh, let's start up the trace tracker. So you see it's using the CPU usage. It's using all of it right now, and it's down the bottom corner. No one's tracing me yet. But when I go to start um, hacking this password, they will start tracing me, and that's where this is going to come in handy, so I can know how close they are to finding me. That's what the beeping is. So let's turn up the password breaker, full CPU usage. And the better versions of the trace tracker will tell you how many seconds until they find you. All right, let's pull this up. Um, what I what I need to get? Test data, uplink test data. So open up the memory, file a copier, uplink test data. So now we're downloading. The faster the beeping gets, the closer they are to finding me. Uh, put it in this memory slot. Uh, you can right click to control the other stuff. Uh, close that out. Um, now actually, quickly I'm going to go into here. I forgot about this. Software again and get the log deleter. Uh, what version can I afford? Version 2. Um, let's buy version 1 for now. Disconnect. And um, I bounce through Enter and I see, which is good because they don't trace you. So I can go in here to admin, break the password, and they won't be tracing me because uh, it's not monitored. <coughs> so I can get in here and access the logs. So, okay, so I didn't bounce through here yet. So they can passively trace me. I'll, I'll delete the log that I uh, logged on. 
Right. So I probably should have bounced through there, but I didn't. So um, I'm going to reply with the uplink test data. Alright, good. So uh, I'm now ranked a beginner. And I succeed the mission. I would get money, but this was just the test. Right, I'm going to go here real quick. Load this. And, can, and actually, no, I'm not going to load this. Cancel it. I'm going to go directly from the gate ray to enter that neck here. Create a new bank er, bounce pattern. Save. Cancel. Right, so now... I'm going to connect to the uplink internal se services, re-log in, and here's the mission list. This is where we'll find most of the missions we're going to be doing. So we'll find and destroy crucial data on a mainframe, re into a rival computer system and sabotage files, or gain access to a rival system and steal research files. So I'm probably going to do the destroy crucial data on mainframe. But I'm out of time, so I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, which will either be coming out Friday or Monday. So see you guys in the next video.